Hello, this is Tom at Spinatron again. In stage four of the tour of the playlist, we visit Import. First, I'll open a playlist. In the playlist menu, I'll choose My Show. That all looks reasonable, so I click Submit. And I've got an empty playlist. And right here is the link for Import. So I click that, and I've got the Import form. Now, I could upload a file, but an easier way sometimes is to copy-paste which I can demonstrate a couple of ways. First of all, let's open up iTunes, which is right here. And I have a playlist ready prepared for this demonstration. So I can click on the playlist and I'm going to do Command A. Control A would work on Windows. You can also use the Edit menu. And then Command C or Control C to copy. And I go back to my playlist and paste in here which is Command V. Press Process, and there's the data. All right, so now I need to assign columns. And I do this with this rather uncomfortable user interface that we have here. This is going to change quite soon, but we just haven't had time to do it yet. Uh, it works, but it's not, it's not the most lovely thing. So I'm going to set the artist name as column number one, that is already the case. The song name is column number two, and that's good too. The song duration is column number three. The song composer is column number four. And the album title or release name is column number five. Then I've got the release year as column number six, and the label, no, the genre, as column number seven. There we go. So that looks good, and I press import. Now it tells me that I didn't have any timestamps in this playlist. It also tells me that spins without timestamps are not displayed to the public. I'm going to have to do something about that. And it's offering me the option to compute timestamps from the previous song duration. So I'll do that. It might save me a little bit of time later and click Import. All right, good. So we see that we've got the playlist in the same order it was, except it's back to front, because Spinatron usually presents the most recent song that you entered at the top of the playlist form. When in uh, iTunes, it's the other way around. So we go from Deerhoof down to Focus, and in this case, we go from Deerhoof up to Focus. And the, uh, the songs are set out in duration as though I played them exactly beginning to end with no gaps and no overlaps and no talk breaks. Right, so that's import. I could have done it um, also by copy-pasting from a spreadsheet program. This is Google Documents Spreadsheets. And I can select an area and do the same thing, copy. And back over here, and go paste. And the same thing works there. So it works from a lot of programs. You can do the same thing with Microsoft Excel. Um, try some other things and let us know what works. Well, this was Tom, and I hope you enjoyed importing.